And here we are again, having a look at another of the iOS search options. In this particular case, the search engine Isic. Now, straight away, you'll notice that Isic is quite a bit different to any of the other search options that are out there. And it's possibly one that you might not uh, consider using, especially if you're in um, in primary school or lower secondary. But uh, senior secondary students might find it interesting now. It needs to be said that if you're wanting to find out a little bit more about Isaac, you could click on the demo option up here and uh, it would go through a movie which will go through more in more detail some of the um, options that um, Isaac offers than I will cover in this particular little movie. And also we can see down the bottom here that there's a range of uh, possible options here too that you could try out by clicking on to, to do some searches and so forth. But we're going to go up here and uh, I'm going to click into the uh, search option up here and I'm going to go in and type in the word that we've been using on just about everything else pedagogy and go search uh, straight away you'll notice that it's very 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 dense with images and so on and it gives us some of the similar sorts of results that we're going to get out of um, our more familiar search engines such as uh, Google and other bits and pieces. Of course, uh, Wikipedia features on the top of the results up here, and then we've got other results down here. Also, got image results, we've got book results, we've got results um, under a range of other different things. And you can see down along the bottom here, which gets covered over by that uh, menu there, that uh, uh, there are a range of different options down here too that we can click on to. Uh, isolate out and so on. So if we click on say define uh, that will bring up a range more of options that um, that we can find in amongst our ISIC search results of course and again if we click on any of the, uh, the various options there it will take us off to to finding those results and so on and so on. And if we use the back arrow button up here which sometimes doesn't seem to work as well it'll take us back to our ISIC search again now uh, the other interesting aspect of ISIC is that um, click on the option down here we have the uh, um, option to uh, delete our search history which has been deleted but it also shows us what other people are searching for uh, when they're searching through um, on Isaac, and we can piggyback off of any of those and piggyback off that one there. So it looks at iOS 7 and some other bits and pieces. So uh, Isaac is certainly a different sort of search engine. So let's if we go in here and we look for uh, our Prime Minister. Uh, we get some different options there. Let's go straight to the Tony Abbott one and we'll see what comes up. We get to Tony's page. Uh, some quick answers here. Some other results related to Tony Abbott. Uh, an interesting picture there. Uh, I don't know whether that's particularly him or somebody else. Of course it goes through Tony Abbott of Yes, Tony Abbott, another Tony Abbott, but that's okay. Tony Abbott on Facebook, Tony Abbott in book reviews, and so on and so on and so on. So you can see that um, Isaac certainly does give you a whole lot of different results in a whole lot of different ways. And uh, it's worth considering.